Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you how to use the new Autumn Inspired Photoshop Action Set from Cozy Clicks. Now this works best in Photoshop CC, um, it does not work in Photoshop Elements. Now if you have the Autumn Action Set already loaded in, it should look like this if you're in button mode. And to get to button mode, I just click these horizontal lines to the right, and I make sure that button mode is checked. Now you don't have to do that, but I think it makes it look a lot more organized when you're working with your actions. Now this action set has a play all button, so I'm gonna click that right now. And what that does is it's gonna load up all of the actions from the Autumn Inspired action set for you so that you can play around and see what each one does. Now you'll see a little message from me. You can just click continue there and it will continue to load up all of the actions. Now you don't have to do this all the time if you find that there's one or two or three that you really love and you like to play that one singly, you can click on any of the actions below and that single action will play. But for this purpose, I want to show you a few of the different actions. So now that they're all loaded in on the side here, you can see they're turned off. So it didn't affect my image at all right now. That way I can click on any of them and see the transformation and see how it looks. So let's try a few of these. I'm going to start and let's just click on pecan pie and with one click, let's see how it transforms our image. That's pretty cool. It changes the greens to nice, deep, rich fall tones without really affecting our subject at all. Now, if you didn't like the intensity of that action on any of these, you can go up to the opacity and you can drop it down to your liking. I kind of like this one at full opacity though. I think it looks kind of neat. So I'm going to keep that just like that. Let's take a look at another one though. I'm going to turn off pecan pie and let's try and see what um, apple cider looks like. So I'm going to click on apple cider and that gives a new look with some new toning that looks kind of neat, kind of like a grayish brown tone on this one that um, gives it a whole different look. Now, if you didn't like the intensity on a certain part of the image, like the subject, you will notice that there are layer masks on all of the actions. To take the action off of any part of your image, just click on the layer mask, choose a brush that is soft and set to black, and just erase off that part of your image. So I'm going to erase off my subject. And I see I, I erased it off a little bit of the um, leaves too, and I don't want it off the leaves. So I'm going to change it back to a white brush so I can just brush back on that part of the action and make those leaves into fall again. And that's pretty cool. Now, the, these actions work well with all different kinds of photos. So I wanted to show you one other photo and how these actions work. So I'm going to grab my next photo right here and you'll see that it looks nice and summery and green, but we want to turn it into an autumn image. So I've already loaded up all of my autumn actions here. I hit play all earlier, so you didn't have to wait through all of them. And let's see what happens. Let's try a couple other ones on this image and see how it changes it. So on this one, I'm going to try um, Honeycrisp. So I just click that on and that makes a nice fall image. It's a little brighter, a little more brownish yellow tones to this one without affecting our subject. So it makes it nice and easy to click and leave. So that is the Honeycrisp action. So I'm going to click that one off and let's try one more just so you can see uh, a variety of a few of these actions. Let's pick, um, let's pick potpourri and see how it plays on this one. So I'm going to click it on. Oh, and this is nice. It's kind of like a reddish purple. So a totally different look. And once again, it didn't really affect my subjects. It just affected uh, the, the background layer, making it appear to be fall. Now, if any of these actions you want to open up, you can do that just by clicking on the arrow. And you can take a look at the different layers within each of the actions. So for example, if it was a little too warm for you, you could turn the warmth off of this action. 
or you could turn the fall colors off if you wanted to and see how that looks with just certain parts on. So you can really tweak each of the individual layers of each action if you wanted to, to make it more to you toward your liking. Um, or you could just click and leave most of these actions here. So that's it. That's the, the autumn inspired action pack from Cozy Clicks. Lots of different choices here to really give you some variety and make your images look fall and creative. Now, if you want to check out more examples or if you'd like to purchase this action pack, you can in the link below or you can just go to CozyClicks.com forward slash fall and you can get more um, information on the Photoshop action pack. Thanks so much for watching.